the spider and the fly mary botham how it will you walk into my parlor said the spider to the fly this is the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy the way into my parlor is up a winding stair and i have many curious things to show when you are there oh no no said the little fly to ask me is in vain for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again i am sure you must be very dear with soaring up so high will you rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly there are pretty curtains drawn around the sheets are fine and thin and if you like to rest a while i'll snugly tuck you in oh no no said the little fly for i have often heard it say they never never wake again who sleep upon your bed said the cunning spider to the fly dear friend what can i do to prove the warm affection i have always felt for you i have within my pantry good store of all that's nice i am sure you are very welcome will you please to take a slice oh no no said the little fly kind sir that cannot be i have heard what's in your pantry and i do not wish to see sweet creature said the spider you are witty and you are wise how handsome are your gauzy wings how brilliant are your eyes i have a little wee looking glass upon my parlor shelf if you will step in one moment dear you shall behold yourself i thank you gentle sir she said for what you are pleased to say and bidding you good morning now i will call another day the spider turned him round about and went into his den for well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again so he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing come hither hither pretty fly with the pearl and silver wing your robes are green and purple there's a crest upon your head your eyes are like the diamond bright but mine are dull as lead alas alas how very soon the silly little fly hearing his willy fluttering words came slowly flitting by with buzzing wings she hung aloft then near and nearer drew thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue thinking only of her crested head poor foolish thing at last up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast he dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor but she never came out again and now dear little children who may this story read to idle silly flattering words i pray you never give heed unto an evil counselor close heart and ear and eye and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly